This demonstration will showcase how Pi Vision allows for the monitoring of water losses throughout a city. The modern enterprise has many challenges when visualizing flows throughout a water distribution network. The director of water operations must strive for operational excellence across all sites. They must ensure operations are safe, efficient, and sustainable. This is challenging without timely information from all departments. The water operations principal engineer is responsible for ensuring quality and operational targets are met, with minimal unplanned downtime. This is challenging without a unified visualization platform to see data from the various siloed data sources. The water plant operator needs to receive timely alerts for any issues in the field. They must be able to make operational decisions based on real-time data. However, with many different systems and set points, keeping up with alarms is a difficult, manual process. With these challenges in mind, what software capabilities are required for the operational monitoring of a water distribution network? The solution must allow for collaboration between all members of staff and allow for data-driven decision-making, to optimize profitability and scalability. It must be able to show the results of real-time asset health and performance calculations, with contextualized data tied to assets to improve the engineering reliability and efficiency. The solution should be the single source of truth for operational data, and be able to send data to any external reporting systems. The following demonstration will showcase Aviva's answer to the challenges mentioned previously. The water operations principal engineer has created a human-friendly Pi AF model of the water distribution network, along with dashboards to visualize flows throughout the network, both for executive staff and for field operations. The engineer starts their day by consulting their dashboard to investigate water losses throughout the district. They see that one DMA has exceeded its alert threshold. They consult the operator in this area, who categorizes the fault based on their operational experience. They then investigate the high nightly water flow of a specific station. This requires using geospatial data from another department to categorize the type of subscribers in this area. The director of water operations needs an overview of what is happening across the distribution network. They navigate to their web-based dashboard to inspect high-level KPIs around water loss and potential financial costs. With all four supply zones above the acceptable loss rate, they assign the principal water engineer to find the source of leakage in the north region. The engineer drills down to the supply zone detailed dashboard, which shows consumption information, daily leakage percent, and the daily and monthly cost associations. They also see a breakdown of all DMA, district metered area, percent leakages, and notice that DMA02B shows the highest percent leakage at 37%. Moving beyond the high-level overview the engineer first checks the NRW, non-revenue water, primary daily leakage KPIs, the monthly ILI infrastructure leakage index calculation and the MNF minimum night flow trend. The MNF has been beyond the major alert level on two of the past seven days. The engineer uses trend cursors to mark exactly when the MNF alert threshold was exceeded. The engineer then checks the water balance over the past day. They view a real-time trend of the total water flow pumped, compared to the sum of all flow meter readings. If the total flow pumped is much higher than the flow meter sum, then there is a potential leak inside of the DMA. The engineer then consults the event list for this DMA and views the details of the first major leak event. They then bring on an operator to inspect the potential leak. From a shared link from the engineer, the operator pulls up the event details page and adds trends of total pump station flow and percent leakage within the ad hoc trend viewer. Next, the operator logs the reason code of what caused the incident, a pipe burst, and makes a comment they are on their way to repair. With the major loss event acknowledged and annotated, the engineer then consults the DMA fleet dashboard. Here they see a list of DMAs in alert over various time periods. This display allows the engineer to quickly get an overview of fleet-wide performance. To understand performance over time, the engineer scrolls back in history to watch which DMAs remain bad actors. As shown many stations are in alert over the past month. The engineer then consults a geospatial view of the distribution network 
which integrates data from Esri ArcGIS. The interactive map feature layer allows the engineer to zoom into the pertinent assets and diagnose the corresponding KPIs. Very quickly the engineer notices that DMA02F has the highest NRW, and MNF, making it a prime candidate for a potential leak. Aviva customers across the world are currently using this solution to run their operations more efficiently. The White House Utility District found a leak of 147 million gallons per year with the Pi system. Stemming this leak postponed a $15 to $20 million upgrade project, while reducing operational costs by over $1 million. Great Lakes Water Authority's adoption of the Pi system led to a 12% increase in pump efficiency through templatized analyses. The City of Riverside Public Utilities was able to integrate 28 software systems into a single source of truth in the Pi system, with an ROI of 800k per year. That concludes this demonstration, showcasing how Aviva Pi Vision enables the monitoring of a water distribution network.